What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another episode of My Damn Hauls, and I think it's episode 71. Shout out to whoever commented that on yesterday's video. I can't remember exactly who that was, but shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. Today, guys, we do have two epic packages, as well as the AEW World Championship that you guys saw in yesterday's video. If you guys missed our AEW figure hunt video, definitely go check that out. It was a lot of fun. We were hitting up Walmart trying to find it. Turns out, only a few Texas and I think uh, New Hampshire were Walmart's actually got them. I think they're either supposed to be start hitting today, tomorrow, and possibly the next day. Uh, I'm excited, man. I'm waiting on my brick seek numbers to go up, and once they go up, I'm, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to go track those hoes down. I think every Walmart that's getting the figures is going to get one or two sets, so that is exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped, man. I'm ready to get them, and also, um, I'm expecting my Ringside Collectibles AEW Series 1 figure so we can get the review started. Let me know which ones you guys would like to see down in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, starting out first, we with our packages here. We got something from Figure Giant, which is a WWE figure customizer website, pretty much. Mad Reaper on Instagram. You guys know him. He also has a YouTube channel. He has a WWE figure parts store. I'll put the link in the description. Very great storing by fodder for, for WWE customs and parts and head swaps and torsos, legs, all kinds of ish. That is where you can get it. This head sculpt was made by BEW Animations, who does all of our great head work. And so today, we got a custom head sculpt that we're getting in, as well as some custom WWE figure your championship belts that are going to look epic and those are from my man WWE underscore figure underscore artist who makes fantastic custom championship belts for our WWE figures and we're going to be doing a giveaway for those and the details of that will be structured out later that you can find on Instagram guys so if you don't have an Instagram account make an Instagram account but let's shut the hell up and dive into what we got here's the AEW championship I just wanted this in there in case you guys missed it I'm going to keep that in the background because that's a, that's a beautiful piece right there man and in this video we got a lot of AEW ish going on so let's go ahead and start off first guys we're going to start off with the black package from figure giant and the only way to crack into our package is with the good old football trusty knife yeah. so you're just going to cut it across the top you're going to rip it open over the top perfectly like that. And you guys are going to see here what we have in here. I'm super excited, man. I mean, I already have this wrestler, but I think we're going to improve him here today. And I'm excited, bro. I am super excited. I doubt we're going to put this on the figure, but uh, I'm, I'm hyped, bro. This is one of my favorite wrestlers in all of AEW. And if you guys can see it already, you already know who I'm talking about. All right, to get it out of there, I had to like split the seam right here. But you guys will see we have a brand new Luchasaurus head sculpt. And oh my goodness in heaven, man, this thing looks fantastic. I am so excited about this. You guys are probably wondering, well, MDT, you already had a Luchasaurus head sculpt. And you would be correct. We're going to do a comparison shot real quick so you guys can see here. Uh, here is the one on the left. This was the OG. But I liked this one over here, and I wanted to get an updated one in here. Better beard. Uh, a lot more realistic looking head sculpt. You know, maybe the golds and the greens here are more accurate. Green tongue in there. It is pretty dark in there, but it's got lots of color in it, man. It looks really, really good, and I'm actually probably going to sell this guy on eBay. So I'll probably be selling him on the eBay page, this Luchasaurus figure. So if you guys are interested in that, I will probably put that up because I'm going to be making a new Luchasaurus. You guys know that they did make their debut. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus made their debuts in MDT at Hell's Gate. And, uh, it, looks, and it looks like they're going to be going after the MDT World Tag Team Championships going into Hell's Gate, which is super exciting. Usos are the champions. It looks like Rated RKO is thrown in there as well, but here is the new head sculpt. I'm going to do a new formula. I'm not going to do this formula. I'm going to be doing a, probably a cane torso or just a, a you know a bigger torso because I feel like Luchasaurus's torso could be bigger than this. And a lot of people like to tell me that his height isn't accurate, which, you know, it's, these figures next, you know, side by side, uh, you know, the height doesn't look that accurate, but I promise you, Jungle Boy's taller than you think, and Luchasaurus isn't as tall as you think but if I, I feel like if I use a bigger body or I use you know a much bigger like scale figure like maybe go up a little bit in height not too too much but a little bit bigger in height give them a bigger torso with this head sculpt on there and uh, put all the decals and stuff I'm gonna make a new one and I think it's gonna be a lot better than this one so I'm excited man I can't wait to do that but there is our Luchasaurus I think this looks great BEW did a fantastic job on this I think uh, Mad Reaper had to make a cast of it and then BEW ended up doing a custom paint job so a huge shout out to Mad Reaper 
BEW and Figure Giant for all of this. So figuregiant.com guys, go pick up some custom figure parts and stuff. This Luchasaurus head sculpt is absolutely fire. But not only do we have our Luchasaurus head sculpt guys, we also have some custom WWE figure championship belts and that comes from us for WWE figure artists. Now I'm not going to probably cut this one because I don't want to damage anything here. You got the customs form right here. He's actually from out of the country. So you guys can actually go order custom belts from him and again we are going to do a giveaway for one of these titles. I got a couple copies here so we can do some do some giveaways for you guys. But you are going to have to create an Instagram page. So create an Instagram page man. You got to create an Instagram page even if you don't have any followers. Just make it repost the photo that way you can get in on this giveaway. But taking it out here guys removing it. I have some of his work already but look at this ladies and gentlemen. We have the brand new WWE United States Championship and holy Christ at the details that we're getting on this. Let me pull these issues out of the bag because I want you guys to see these. Here is the WWE United States Championship again. WWE figure artists did a fantastic job on these. The only thing I will say about it is WWE really messed up not putting blue behind these stars in the United States. I feel like it would look so much better if they had that. I don't know. I think he 3D prints these. I'm not exactly sure, but you got the realistic texture going on. You got the buttons back here. They do Velcro on. We're going to see what they look like on some different figures, but this figure championship looks great. I'm excited to add it to the collection for predictions and reviews and stuff but if you guys want to take one of these home with you look into the details on my Instagram page they will be posted very soon if they're not up already so definitely be on the lookout for these you are going to be able to win one of these United States championships but you got to create an Instagram page so there is the United States championship and then we have the good old AEW TNT championship and I'm not going to BS with you guys I think the TNT championship may look better than the US and there there they are, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, bro. You freaking nailed it, man. WWE Figure Artist gets all these details in here. I don't even know if my camera can pick up all these details, but we are going to be doing a giveaway for one of these and then for one of the U.S. Championships. Dude, look at how good. I think the figure belt looks better than the actual belt that Cody Rhodes wears, and I cannot wait to put this thing on to our Cody Rhodes action figure. When we get the AEW Unrivaled Collection Cody Rhodes, I'm definitely going to be putting one of these on there, seeing what that looks like. But you guys can see the AEW logos here. AEW logos down here. TNT logo in the middle. Champion right there. I'm going to go ahead and get Apollo Crews MVP. Cody Rhodes. We're going to see what some of these figures look like with the championship on there, but I think both of them look fantastic. But in figure form, man, the TNT championship super underrated. I'm super happy to add that to the collection, and I'm sure very soon we're probably going to get a TNT championship in toy belt mode, uh, like our AEW World Championship, if I had to guess. But let me go ahead and grab our models for these championships. We'll see what they look like on the figure and get the hell out of here. Alright guys, so here are our models for the new figure championships. Got the extra TNT over here, because you know, TNT champion Cody Rhodes has been the only one that we've gotten so far, but here is the extra one that you guys could own. So, here we go. You know, I think Apollo Crews is looking good. You know, he did defeat MVP last night on Monday Night Raw to uh, retain the championship, and he has both versions now. He's got the old one that he's going to keep in a case he said, and now he has the brand new one he's looking good with. MVP, here he is with it. You know, last night was the last night for him to hold it, but there he is. And then on Wednesday, we we do have uh, our AEW TNT champion with Cody Rhodes right there. And I think all figure belts look great, man. I think WWE underscore figure underscore artist did a fantastic job on it. Again, link in the description, guys. Go follow him. And be sure to enter the giveaway on my Instagram so you guys can win one of these things. I'm going to ship it out to the winner. The rules have yet to be posted probably by the time you're seeing this, but I love the way these championships look on the figures. I think they did a really good job on all of it. I love the Luchasaurus head sculpt, bro. Like, oh my goodness in heaven. Look at that right there. That looks great, bro. I can't wait to see that live in MDT. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode of My Damn Halls. You know, not a ton of stuff that we got, but the stuff that we got was very, very good. So, quality over quantity in this episode, but stay tuned, guys. We are still on the hunt for our AEW figures. I'm sure that we should be finding them any day now. You know, I'm waiting on that brick seat to hit again, and I think my ringside order is coming in, so we will get those things up and we will review them for you guys. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching watching this episode of My Damn Halls. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Enter the WWE Figure Belt giveaways. Go follow all those people down in the description below. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.